everybody, I'm Jerry Mitchell, and I'm out here training for the World IPSC Championships. That's going to be held in Sweden this year. It's coming up in just a week or so. Uh, give you an idea what I'm going to shoot here. This is a Smith & Wesson M&P 15 Performance Center modern sporting rifle. So it's chambered in 555, uh, 5.56, 223. Of course, what's great about these platforms, you can customize them the way you want. I've got a Mossberg trigger in it. I've got some uh, Magpul. I've got a Magpul oversized magazine release and their extended lever for a bolt release. So I can do everything on one side of the rifle. I've got a Magpul buttstock on it, a uh, Vortex 1x6 razor with the JM reticle and another little Vortex razor here with a three minute dot on the side. Open division gun guys, I can put as many bipods as I want and as many optics as I want. It's not restricted on magazine capacity so I'll, I'll run a 50 round Magpul drum mag uh, and any, any combination of magazine I want. So what's really tricky about this, uh, it's, it's the old man division. It's got a lot of optics on it, so I can't really see good anymore, so it works out pretty good. Anyway, give you an idea of the targets here. This is a IPSC Classic target. Uh, a zone, AC, and D zone. So in here, every, every shot you make, major or minor caliber, they, they do rate you on how powerful your ammunition is. So if you stay in the A zone, with major or minor caliber ammunition, it scored the same. In a C zone, this is worth three in minor. And on the edge here, in his D zone, it's worth one. So as you get to the edge of the target, your, 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 your uh, score really drops off on minor. So it's very, very mandatory that you stay in at least a C zone shot for every, every round you fire. So the bipods here really come in uniquely in a situation where you might have a, just an A zone showing with hard cover. Or you have a very a very small target zone, say this target at 200 yards, and you only have half a target to shoot at, and you want high point value, you have a high bipod, you can take a knee with it. And what's really trick about these bipods, you have a quick disconnect, and I can disconnect it, leave it behind, shoot a stage, and if I need another long range shot down the line from prone, I've got a small bipod I can go to and shoot prone. So it gives you a lot of options. Uh, it's a fun division. And one thing they do at the world shoot, you have a lot of, you have so many mandatory dry start stages. So we have to practice on how to load the rifle quickly under the timer. So I've got my uh, my rig on, got a couple of, got a magazine, got a little simulated stage. I've got a half target at about 50 yards. So what I'm going to do from an empty rifle on the timer, come up, load it, charge it, take a knee, make the precision shot, dump the magazine, go to the slot, the, the, the side mounted red dot, engage this target, run it for a little bit and shoot these other three targets offhand and that'll be the end of the little practice session so and uh, let's go ahead and do this and see what it looks like okay one of the things you'll find at the world match you'll have so many percentages of dry starts and the way they do that the rifle is parallel to the ground belt level so on the timer I'm gonna charge it take a knee do the precision shot with the bipod get rid of the bipod shoot the close target with the red dot run up a little bit and then finish the three targets with the telescopic sights two rounds a piece so let's go ahead and do that so that gives you an idea of what a real short stage might look at at the world shoot has to be precision has to be consistent so there it is guys get some. 